Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the another new video on Chrome database series in Android. In the previous video, we were discussing about the implementation of delete functionality using the room database. The way we went about it was we implemented the delete functionality in DAO first, that is data access object. So you can see here that we have written a suspend function, which is called as delete, which takes a country as the parameter, returns a int, depicts the number of rows that got deleted in the database when this delete actually gets called. This delete function from the data access object gets called in the repository. You can see here at the line number 36, we have defined the another delete country function and it internally calls DAO's delete country. And this delete country from the repository later gets invoked in the country view model. And at line number 40, you can see that we have created another delete function delete country and that internally invokes the repositories delete country and this is finally called in the composable or a view and in our case it is my alert dialog you can see here that a callback function has view model dot delete country so that's the whole flow but we also observed that the delete is not working as intended let me run the code here and when I do a long click and then confirm that country got deleted. But when I click here and once again confirm next time, it seems to be not working. There is something inherently wrong with our lazy column. To understand where the problem is, let me go to the place where this pop up is actually coming. Now that happens in the country card and inside the country card, there is country card with constraint layout and here we are handling the long press. Let me log the country here. That is country name common. And now let me rerun the application. Let me click here. Let me add the filter country card. And when I do a long click, long press detected slabbed and Jan Mian. Yeah, that seems to be the correct country. So let me click confirm. So that got deleted. Now we have Samoa second country. And when I do a long press, yeah, that is the problem. Instead of getting Samoa, we are getting once again the old country. Why is this happening? Well, the lazy column that we have written here doesn't take the configuration of the keys. Keys is very, very important when you are working with the dynamic lazy column. Lazy column internally uses that key that you assign to the each item in the lazy column to internally manage the positioning of the cars as things get added and deleted. Since ours is a dynamic list where things are getting added, deleted and probably updated later, this is going to create a problem. And the best way to manage this is to provide the key. So what we will do is comment out this and replace it with another ways of writing the column. The main difference is here, we are only just providing the items, but in the second one, we are not only providing the items, we are also providing the key. And key is basically getting initialized with the country ID. And this country ID will always be unique for each card that is getting listed in the country. And that should solve our problem. So let me rerun the application, go to the locket, do a long press. I have a Samoa, confirm, let me delete it. Now let me click another one. Yeah, now it is Gambia. It is not Samoa again. Confirm and let me click again. Saint Kitts Nevis. Yeah, so this seems to be solving the issue. So this is something that you should remember when working with the dynamic lazy column. If you are using the dynamic lazy column, always ensure that you use the key. Otherwise, you will see this problem. So now we have solved the problem that we were seeing with the delete. Next functionality that we need to implement is update country. And we shall do that in the next video. So stay tuned. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.